What's good y'all, Tristan here, and today I'm going to be going over 10 reasons why I think Australia is better than America. So the first reason why I think Australia is better than America is because their public transport is so much better than it is in the US. In Australia, you can pretty much get wherever you want in any city, any suburb, between any cities, just through their public transport. Additionally, their public transport is fast, it's clean, it's nice, it's a pleasant experience, and I can't say the same with American public transport. Maybe if you live in a big city in America, like New York, Chicago, maybe San Francisco, LA, then you might have decent public transport. But even then, there are places that are still hard to get to. I really enjoy having the freedom to go pretty much wherever I want in Australia without having to own a car. Or I should say, I can go pretty much to anywhere of like civilized Australia. I can't go out to like the bush, like out into the outback um, without a car. The next reason why I think Australia is better than the US is because the wages here on average are much higher. Maybe not like the top salaries, like doctors and lawyers, they actually get paid a little bit less here. But if you have an average to lower salary or you're working a minimum wage job, you're probably gonna get paid much better here. The minimum wage is about 16, 17 US dollars an hour, which is double that of the US currently. And I have an American friend here who is looking for a job and the exact same job that she's about to get out of grad school here is paying about a time and a half more than what it would pay her back in the States. Now this next thing I absolutely love about Australia and that is if you go to pretty much any public park here, there will be free grills. And I'm not talking about those like crappy like metal boxes that you can put charcoal in in America. These are like good electric grills that are like clean, like high quality, like maintained. And you can go there, light them up, do like a full on barbecue, like cook burgers, cook steaks. You don't need to bring your own charcoal. It is such a nice experience. And frankly, just all their parks here are nicer than they are in America. So that is another thing that Australia does better than America. Now, something that I didn't even realize that I didn't like about America until I visited Australia and some other countries is we have sales tax that is like after the price, like after the sticker price. That is like super weird. Like pretty much every country on earth, including Australia, will put the like the tax, the GST, sales tax, whatever you want to call it, they'll include that in the sticker price. The main reason why I hate this is I don't like using cash in America. I pretty much never use cash because everything comes out to like weird, like you know, you don't want a bunch of pennies and change. So to avoid getting change, I only pay with card. However, here, like if something's ten dollars, I can just hand over a ten dollar bill. It's something in America that like no one's wanting to change, or like probably no one even realized they dislike it, but when you go to another country, you'll come back and you'll realize it is just an inconvenience that you've just been used to living with. All right, number five is something that I didn't even know existed until I came to Australia, and that is chicken salt and chicken chips. Pretty much, if you order french fries, or chips as they call them here, at most restaurants, they are gonna put chicken salt on them. This is different than regular salt, and it is so freaking good. Like, it is, it is the best invention, I don't know, the best thing since sliced bread. It's like salt, but it has some flavoring to it, and it's so good, and it fits so well on chips. I also think there's some other things you could put it on. I kind of want to try, like, putting it on, like, my popcorn. I don't know, what else is it good on? If you know, please comment it down below. If you want to try this in America, so I don't know if they have this at grocery stores. I've never seen it, but I did look, and it's on Amazon, so if you want to get it off Amazon, Links below, check it out. I promise you won't regret it. The chicken salt is so good. Now this next one is a bit more serious, and I want to take some time to talk about it, and that is their healthcare here. Australia, like pretty much every other first world country on earth besides America, uh, has a universal healthcare system. And I know this is a point of debate in America, but I can say from living here that I truly believe this is a better system than what we have in America. Before coming here, I don't know if that's something I would have said. And there's a couple reasons for this. The first is you're just not worried about how much it's going to cost when going to the doctor and you're not going to avoid the doctor for medical care you need because of the, the expense. When I was 17, I broke my back, I had three fractures. I went to the doctor to get an x-ray, I went to another doctor, then I got an MRI. Each time I did that, it cost several hundred dollars and then the MRI was like $500. And then after that, I went to physical therapy for like six months. Again, each time I go, costing a bunch of money and at the end of it, my back wasn't healed. Eventually they recommended that I get this scan as like an MRI where they like inject fluid into you, forgot what it's called, but that cost my family like another like $800. And at the end of the day, I just kind of moved on with my life because it pained me and it like was a struggle in my mind each time I went to the doctor I knew it was gonna be costing my parents hundreds of dollars like they spent thousands of dollars on my back and frankly it still hurts me every single day and why I haven't gone to the doctor to see why that is ever since I got that scan is because I just don't want to put more money into it I'm sure you have an example like this in your life of a reason like you didn't go to the doctor because of an expense and I just don't think that should be the case I'm not from a poor family like I'm from a very like typical like middle-class family that lives in a suburb we had good insurance and it was still something that sh was a struggle for me I could go on and on about why it's so much better but Two other minor reasons is one, like the number one cause of bankruptcy in America is financial bills. Like I don't think anybody should have to go bankrupt for 
getting sick. No joke, I have had many non-Americans say to me that in some ways they think America is a third world country because of their healthcare system. And what first world country should someone be able to go to financial ruin like their whole life flipped upside down due to something that they couldn't even control? I can make a whole video about this, but I'm gonna have to cut this here. So the next one is the drinking age, which like most of the world is 18 here. And to me, that seems much more reasonable. I mean, most people argue like, oh, you can enlist in the military, you can do this, you can do that, but you can't drink. And yes, that's all true, but also, why is it that in American culture, it's like kind of socially acceptable to drink once you're 18? Like once you go to college, people expect that you drink. Like most parents, if they know that their kid is drinking in college, like they don't get mad. Like they don't care because they're 18, they're 19, they're 20. I just find it weird that the mindset of America is like, oh, it's okay to drink whenever you're 18 or some people even lower, less than that. Yet the law says 21. I don't know. I think we're a little bit backwards in that. If someone wants to defend the 21 rule, I'd love to hear it in the comments. Next one is super basic. And yes, the US is so backwards in this. And that is that the, we don't use the metric system. The metric system is like meters, kilometers, Celsius, like I don't know, grams, kilograms, all that stuff, liters. However, in America, we use, I think it's called the imperial system. That's like the Fahrenheit, miles, I don't know, ounces, pounds, cups, pints, quarts, gallons, all that stuff. Pretty much every country has recognized the metric system as being better and converted to that system. Besides the US, we're really stubborn in that. So yeah, I think it's about time America switches over to the metric system. All right, this next one is like the icing on the cake for Australia, and that is superannuation. If you don't know what that is, it's pretty much like a mandatory 401k that is invested and you get it when you're old. So I already talked about the wages being higher, but here, on top of whatever salary or hourly rate you make, your employer has to pay a minimum of 9%, sometimes they'll pay more, into a fund. It's called your super fund or superannuation. Pretty much what this fund does, you can pick which one they put the money into, but what it does is it is it, it gets invested over your entire life. So you know how they say like you should save 10%? Well, in Australia, you could below every single penny you've ever earned, ever made, yet whenever it's time for you to retire, you will have pretty much 10%, 9% of what everything you've ever made invested, and you get it, yeah, when you uh, retire. This is really smart for a couple reasons. One is it pretty much guarantees everyone some sort of retirement fund, and overall, I think it's just a really good program that we could adopt in America. All right, so this is the last one. I'm on to number 10, and Notice that I'm not gonna say guns. I can get into the healthcare debate, but I just don't wanna talk about guns because it's always a point of conflict and political debate, which I just don't really want on this channel. I was already a little weary talking about healthcare, but whether you think there are more strict gun laws are a good or bad thing here, comment it in the section below. I'd love to hear your opinion and your reasons behind it. I grew up in Texas. I've been exposed to guns my entire life. I've shot guns my whole life, so I'm comfortable with them. Yet at the same time, I do actually feel safer here in Australia where there aren't really any guns. I mean, there's, there still are guns, but it's like nothing like in America. So yeah. I just want to hear y'all's discussion below. Now the actual last one, number 10, is that here in Australia, it is just way more international and I feel like it's more accepting of other lifestyles. Or I should say like alternative lifestyles. Not even alternative, just anything that's not like the status quo, like the typical thing to do. Yeah, I just feel like you can be yourself here more without having judgment. I think we're kind of bad at that in America. There's a lot of like expectations of like how you should live. But don't think it's all roses and whatnot over here. There are plenty of things about Australia that I hate. So if you want to see those things that I hate about Australia, Click right over there, there are 10 things that I don't like about Australia. And if you plan on coming here, there are some things that you definitely should not do when you come here. So check out that video if you wanna find out what those are. Thanks for watching guys, peace.